traditional Malay knife art of Pahang origin. Introduction of Malay knife art of Pahang origin. According to Nora Sikin, art is perceived as something unique, interesting, and accepted to society. There are two types of art, visible art and invisible art. Visual art is defined as art that can be touched and seen from the outside. Invisible art, on the other hand, is art that can be touched but not seen. History of Malay Knife Art of Pahang Origin because of its distinctiveness and quality, the Pahang Malay traditional knife has captured the attention and curiosity of both local and international communities. The design of this Pahang knife is developed or produced based on the scenario such as hunting, gardening, climbing or everyday use. Furthermore, the Pahang Blade traditional knife is special because it is more strong, durable, and oxidation than the stainless steel 440C used by leaders. It also has sufficient flexibility and a nice grips hole. According to the figures, he received its iron supply from his poles in Perak and Kuala Lumpur. This knife cover has its own theme and state identity since it incorporates traditional Pahang motif such as the Hulu Belut cover and the Hulu Buah Jering cover. Technique and tools of making knife There is four technique that have been used by the figure for making the Pahang traditional knife. The first one is technique of iron steel cutting. The second one is the technique of burning iron steel. The third one is technique of thinning the blade. And the last one is the technique of wash wood for smoothing and thinning wood surfaces. The main tools used are iron burners, grinder, grinding machines, G clamps, iron hammers, iron compressors, wood cutters, saws, sandpaper, and iron polishers. So, for the brief explanation, an iron burner is used to melt or soften iron and then form using an iron hammer to make thin and taper iron. Iron will be cut if it is oversized and there are defects. Sometimes, iron will be compressed when it is soft to flatten or round it into the blade of a knife handle. However, there are also knives that use wood as the handle because the surface is rougher and lighter. Then, sharpen and thin with a sharpening knife machine and rub with sandpaper for the finishing. Among the types of pahang knife that the figure has produced are landing machete, butcher knife, rock machete, slaughter machete, and tactical knife. But from that, he explained that the case and knife blade design that he produced was the Belut Pahang blade. These traditional and modern knife or machetes are produced simultaneously in the market according to the original motive and customer demands. Each type of Pahang knife produced has a function, durability and price vary according to the quality of the case iron and other materials used. For sure, we need and steel metal or iron alloy for preparation blade point. They use as quality following the code of materials. They use stainless steel 440C and D2. This steel will import from out of country like Thailand, Brunei and Indonesia. A showcase for SUP-9A that using the iron as material from Japan. Mixture and combine with quality of ice of iron tissue such as Edeso and Kellenberg German. They use grinder to shaping the head wood of knife following the shape of blade to easy carry out for future use and comfortable for user. Knife building is the process of bending and cooling the iron blade of a knife. This process is required for long knife durability. 
among them after bending the iron knife it will be dipped with set water oil or banana stick or whey manufacturing of knife head must be quality of wood and wood surface that is not rough and does not become wood chipper to surface of your hand they use the types of wood that's name of acacia, juha, and brute wood. This process to sharpen the blades using a grinder and sandpaper. They using the grinder to sharpen the eyes of blades. Manufacture was using shale oil to cover the wood cavities. They are also using a glue wax. Lastly, they using a sandpaper and grinder with high roughness for finishing part of tip and blade of knife. Additionally, the blade case using high tip of PVC and half liter of materials. Figure. Encik Masli Faisal bin Mustafar is a figure in the field of Pahang knife making art who is now in his 40 years old. He has been involved in this field since school because of his interest and he tried his best to learn the art of making Pahang knives from his neighbor known as Pak Cik Mat that helped by guiding him in making these knives on a daily basis. Before this, he worked as a mechanic. However, Due to his deep interest, he decided to change his career to the art of carpentry. Apart from that, the figure explained that he had attended several courses and also visits to knife making workshops in Pahang as well as in other states. The result has prompted him to start a business selling and ordering these Pahang knives and gain recognition from RTM and TV9. Pahang traditional knife is different because it is more powerful, tough, and resistant to corrosion as stainless steel 440C. In fact, it is able to last for about 10 years or more because it uses high quality wrought iron, unlike other knife tools that are randomly produced, manufactured, and sold in regular shops. In fact, this knife is very high quality, flexible, able to last a long time, has variations and has traditional motifs that are only found in the state of Pahang. All these motifs are only found in the state of Pahang and not used in other states unless made by a knife maker from Pahang who resides in other states. The next video, I will show you the interview about the life experience of a figure uh, uh, into this uh, who began to uh, venture into this field on how making of Pahang, the art of Pahang traditional knife. Wish us is a Chimazi Faizal bin Mustafa who is a merchant and a knife maker in Bara Pahang. <laughs> Next, we go to the demonstration how making the art of Pahang traditional knife. 